Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic and Miracles where you learn how to be a magician of your life, quite literally so. I am a manifestation coach, all the information is below, I have different packages um, of emails and audios which is how I coach uh, my clients um, tailored to your specific needs, going through all the manifestation dilemmas that you're currently facing i usually recommend you spend at least a month with me for two reasons because it really does make a difference to spend um one month or more um really dealing with what it is that you believe your belief system and really shift that and also because it's really discounted for the amount of time we spend together end up spending hours and i mean countless hours um of talking back and forth um because i just enjoy helping people and my fee is definitely extremely inexpensive for that amount of time and it will definitely go up within a month or so so take advantage of it now it's 500 dollars a month okay so what i wanted to talk about is to continue on the specific person and how to bring them back extremely fast and and it really doesn't matter what happened before and how bad it got and whatever 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 like none of that really matters it doesn't first of all okay let's start off with this it doesn't have to take a long time because manifestation is instantaneous in the 5d okay so if you manifest it instantaneously in the 5D, it's really up to you how long you want to keep your manifestation there, okay? And I know everybody has their own story and their own belief system, which is why I'm offering the coaching, and we can get very personal um, and, and you know, dive into this deeper, Um but essentially, it really doesn't matter what happened or what the situation is because, okay, drum roll, <laughs> we live in a serial universe in which there are innumerable amount of parallel realities, innumerable parallel realities. There is no end. So you can shift yourself from one parallel reality to another in which the past is different, the present is different, and obviously the future is different as well, in which your specific person is different, in which everything is different if you want it to, to be so. And so most of the time, here's what happens, okay? People are so focused on their drama and trauma and all of that stuff, right? And by the way, I'm not ridiculing, okay? I'm not judging, I'm not, you know, doing none of that stuff. But in order to find the solution, you can't keep focusing on what was, all right? You have to create a new story and you have to get emotionally involved with it. You can just script, which I really, really recommend. Scripting is by far the most powerful technique there is, other than visualization, of course. Um, scripting just really flashes it out in detail and everything like that. But if you don't have the accompanying feeling with it, right? So if you're scripting my special person or specific person is so in love with me and here they are by my side <clears throat> but they're but you don't have the feeling that uh, has to accompany all of that nothing will happen i mean something might happen but not what you want okay they might contact you and it probably will be more of the same or something neutral okay remember that you're the one okay you're the only one in your universe who thinks who feels so all of your thoughts <clears throat> excuse me and all of your feelings go out into the stratosphere of the universe 
who is, by the way, also you, so everything is you, and animates all the people, all the circumstances, okay, um, your thoughts create the reality that you're going to face, and your feelings breathe in the reality into the people that surround you, you interact, your circumstances, etc., etc. So, this is why when people say affirmations don't work, scripting doesn't work, it's because you haven't been feeling what you're writing, you're not feeling what you're affirming. It's just empty affirmation. It's an empty uh, visualization. It's an empty scripting. You have to feel it. All of these techniques are um, designed for you to feel the stuff that you're visualizing and scripting and wanting, okay? So if you're scripting them as a new person and at the same time you still have the old story playing, well, guess what? You know, you're going to probably manifest nothing okay or like I said something that is more of the same or something that you don't really particularly care for okay you have to fuse yourself with the new reality and really fall in love with this person if there was some kind of unresolved issues if something happened um, you know whatever the situation is it, it's usually something drama okay some kind of a drama which is why you're not together which is why everything is the way it is okay so you have to abandon this drama completely disregard it and become delusional enough that you're creating this person not just on paper not just with affirmations but with actual feeling okay when you change when you think of this person <clears throat> it cannot be that you're thinking of the drama that you're recounting in your mind about all the shit that went wrong that you're even thinking about the way things are right now okay if you want to really crank it up a notch you're completely disregarding the reality you completely abandon that old story like completely discard it and yes i know it requires effort in your mind, but this is what manifestation ultimately is. It's the effort of the mind. You're not doing anything physically, okay? You're doing everything in your mind. So you have to go to the gym of your mind and practice this, okay? And you have to get to yourself, yourself to a point where whenever you think of this person, you think of them in a new way. Whenever you... Um, imagine this person in your mind you imagine them in a new way you imagine the new story as if it's happening right now no longer are you thinking of whatever the hell went wrong okay you're not even acknowledging that it ever happened okay again if you really want to crank it up a notch as delusional as you can get you know, the the better, the more delusional you can get, the better, basically, because the reality of things is that, okay, you are, you choose and want to be in a new fucking reality. <laughs> so if you're constantly bringing up the old reality, you cannot experience the new reality, okay? And you know what? The switch can happen so fast, it will literally take your breath away it will because it depends on how intensely you're doing this how 100 percent um infused you are with this feeling how 100 percent you are married to this reality like there's no going back like you literally have to switch it in your mind that you know what i am responsible for creating the new reality. So I really have to pay attention to what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. And I'm also responsible for creating the old reality. So why am I recreating it over and over again? No manifestation is also a manifestation, okay? So just to reiterate, you have to abandon the story completely to the point where you don't even acknowledge it as real. Two, you have to script it but and, and visualize it and affirm it, but you have to be in love with this new story. You have to be in love with this 
person and completely on a, disregard the drama that ever happened with this person as if it never was. And now whenever you think of their them or the situation around them, you're only thinking of good things. You can't think of the bad things and manifest the good version. Okay, it's just not going to happen. It's just totally incoherent. Okay, or it's at best, it's going to be a mixed bag of results, which nobody really wants. You literally have to be like a child, right? In your complete surrender to your dream, to your vision, in that you have no resistance. You have no yes, but no, not everything. All of that goes. It's like if somebody told a child, like, do you want to go to Disneyland? Their, their answer would be only yes. They're not going to come up like, yes, but yes, but no, you're going to Disneyland. Okay. This is your dream is your Disneyland. All right. And you're going to Disneyland and you're staying in fucking Disneyland. And then your dream becomes reality. I mean, with mind-blowing speed, with the speed of light. And it doesn't matter, like, you know, how bad it got or what happened. Like I said, you're in a new reality. You're in a new parallel reality in which even the shit that went bad serves you somehow. Even the stuff that you said and you didn't mean serves you somehow. Okay, just everything's in your favor in that reality. No matter what happened, some things will be thrown out. I don't know how it works. It just does. Okay, the way you scripted, everything will be as you scripted it. Okay, so if that person has to forget certain things and all of a sudden become, you know, develop amnesia to the things that you said or some things that happened, that's what what's going to happen okay not literal amnesia but it will be a new version of a person who's not either not going to remember it or they'll remember it and they will be understanding of it let's say you know that's just one example the point is you don't have to figure it out what you asked for will be given but you have to stay with what you asked for you can ask for things and then say yes but i don't know how it's going to work out don't worry about it Like, that is not your job. Your job is to ask and be with your dream now. Like, be with it at this moment in time and completely disregard whatever's happening. That's it. And that's how you create change that, one, is fast, and two, is lasting as long as you stay in Disneyland, okay? Thanks so much for listening. All the info is below. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.